So what we did is, I seen the foundation. I actually read one of the books that Bam actually is quoted in Can't Stop, Won't Stop, motivated me to really take it back to the grassroots community aspect of it. Too many of these artists are just begging to be on major labels and they're not being proactive in their community. So what we decided to do is go forth and obtain the nonprofit status through one of my other brothers. And the Zulu Nation linked together and we started a foundation and we decided to name it after one of our fallen comrades who's rising through us, Optimus Rhyme. Peace, Absolutely. Matt. Who is Optimus Rhyme? Well, Optimus Rhyme is Matthew Hall, who was an MC, A student, a b-boy and a graffiti writer. And a scholar. Exactly, and when I met him through the Zulu Nation, blessed be, we, we ended up being in the same chapter. He showed me about thinking beyond. He was organizing stuff with artists such as Immortal Technique before he was at the level where he was at now. And he was making sure we went through the colleges, going through student unions, getting artists paid in. We know we need financial backing in this generation. So when we start to become business savvy, and take it upon ourselves using the foundation we learned from the nation through the nonprofits. We decided that we have to not only keep our artistry sword sharp, our mental sword sharp, our physical sword sharp, our business sword sharp. So when they come at us, we protect it from all angles on a spiritual, mental, and physical level. Train hard for those people. Get your martial arts on, eat a good diet. We train it heavy. We don't say um when we speak. We speak very clearly heavy frequencies in us and what our program is is free for all we gonna let these people donate to us and throw fundraiser events we got one coming up at the national black theater soon we're waiting on a confirmation date we also have a knowledge panel to discuss how we can elevate and unite together just as the nation does with the moors the comedics we want to bring all foundations that are positive knowledge and elevate together because it needs to be collective conscious rising in these communities that's so true. That's so, so true. You know, in the wake of you saying that there needs to be a higher sense of consciousness in the mm -hmm. communities, yes. what do you feel about the state of hip-hop at this time right now? The state of hip-hop is really beautiful. It's just what they market to you by those six corporations that own all the TV, radio, and broadcasting. We got the same owners who own Fox own MySpace now. So why do you think they're popping up these Viagra ads when you log in on your MySpace right now? You think that's just coincidence we need artists to go back to how it started in the independent route where we are supporting each other grassroots movement where the artists were featuring to support community events and community activism we need to bring it back to providing people with food clothing shelter and knowledge to obtain food clothing shelter because we cannot just be talking about I need a chain or I need this and that because a chain is just nothing but a shackle we wear our medallions proud representing the motherland so we are here. We are all black people from the universe. Look up in the sky. That's the true blackness. Out of space. We're beyond this realm. We're spiritual beings having a human experience on here. So make sure you get in tune with your higher self. And I'm here to let people know you have infinite potential within you. There is a black hole within inside you that brings infinite rays from the cosmos through your chakras. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a device called Google. And you can put any of these words into Google and elaborate and educate yourself. You said there's a device named Google. Yes. <laughs> it's Google Earth now, right? We need to buy that device then. Yeah, they're, they're like top three on uh, Forbes list, I heard. It's somewhere up there right now. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. The internet, intergalactic <laughs> aspect. Yep. Who would know that Africa Bambada has prophesied the coming of this mm -hmm. so many years ago? Yeah. 15 years ago, the oncoming of the microchip. Spin Tell it. lies through the vision. Tell our visions, right? Oh, yeah. Politics. Oh, yeah. Many blood-sucking creatures. Y'all know who they are. Oh, yeah. Just don't call them out on this show yet. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all. Supreme love and knowledge. No doubt, no doubt. But talk to us about this knowledge, um, knowledge gathering that you was talking about. Yeah. The date is set most likely. We, we confirm it with the venue. You can go to this site, realitysandwich.com. We have an interview on this, our after-school program. And we also attended the more meeting out there to get our knowledge up. So really study. And this event is really going to be panels. We spoke to Dr. Shaka Zulu, of course, Taj Tariq Bey. We got a lot of brothers coming in. I'm on the panel myself. And what we're looking to do is find the roots of this. Because through music, I found my spirituality. Through music, 
I cut out a lot of my negative habits. Through joining the nation, I changed my diet when I learned certain things about certain foods to stay away from. So we're here to basically take the frequency of music, which vibrates through sound, all the way, and just use this frequency to tap into going to a higher self, what might be called a light body, what is the higher self within you, because the most high is within you. Stop looking up in the sky, look in the mirror. If you don't got a mirror, look into some still water and you will see your reflection and that higher voice that you feel inside guiding you to make these positive moves, that's the voice you really need to follow and it's something we all have innate within us. And this panel most likely will be at the Bowery Poetry Club. We're confirming it with them, but hit me up on the Optimist piece at yahoo.com. We will be sending out email blasts and further details once the venue is locked down. We can get all these lovely panelists there. And it's open to everybody, all ages. We don't care if you're 10 years old and you got something to say. We want, we want you to have your voice heard in this panel. And basically, instead of talking about the problems, which has been the oldest shift, we're going into the age of creating the solutions that can bring the community to a new level. We're not trying to go back. We're striving to go to the future. So this movement, I call it Back to the Future. Because we're taking it back, the elements from the OGs, the original, the fathers, BAM, Dr. Shaka Zulu, mental physical training, and we're here to work with them. There is no age now. Get rid of the age thought. There is no young and old. There is only now. You live in the moment. Your life consists of right now over and over again. So I want to build with all of y'all right now. If you're feeling the frequencies of BAM, Dr. Shaka Zulu, you know what we're about. So you need to come down and stay in contact. I give you my personal email. Yeah, I think you need to do that because usually we don't have cats come on the show and just uh, announce about an event that we don't have confirmed. Yeah. Okay? But mm -hmm. we need to have that confirmation yeah. to come on down there because we got a lot of people that's listening all around. Yeah, definitely. You know, Harlem, all around the Bronx, Queens, mm -hmm. Staten Island, actually all around the world because, you know, this is on, this is the voice of Harlem, but this is yeah. actually on the internet. So we got people tuning in and tapping in through MySpace, nice. Facebook, you know, you name it. All different intergalactic internet radio stations are supporting True School Radio. Yes. The official True School Radio. Not the make-believe Cracker Jack box, you know what I'm saying, imposters, you know what I mean? But the real deal stuff going down right here with so, yours truly, Dr. Shaka Zulu. So my email is R-Y-M-E-A-D-D-I-C-T at Yahoo.com. That's that Rhyme spell? Addict without the H in rhyme, pretty much. I'll spell it one more time. R-Y-M-E-A-D-D-I-C-T at yahoo.com. And I'm going to take a copy of this to the venue that we're approaching and let them know we're pushing hard because the powers that be are nothing to us. We are the powers that be in the NYC on the M-I-C. Yes. Now, you know, ladies and gentlemen, two school radio listeners, he did say his email correct. He did say that he was a rap rhyme addict. addict. A yep. rhyme addict. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see if we got some whack raps or some crack raps. He's going to have some real rhymes in a minute. All right. Africa Bambada, Bambada. Can we get a, another beat on the mix here? Mm. We're going to have Brother YG going to the acapella. Matter of fact, before we go there, yeah. we, got, we, we, are, we got a special treat for everybody right here. We got a CD with some of his okay. great sounds on here. Let's go to that first. Let's and go to maybe, number seven, and then the maybe, God number. Maybe we may let them, you know what I'm saying, they still breathing after let's see, that. Let's see, let's see. Then we could come back to some acapella. So we're going right. to go to number seven here. The God number. Y'all know what time it is, man. God number. It's a good number right there. God's in the building. All right. Yes, sir. True school radio. I dedicate this one to Sly Stone. One of my favorite MCs, Mr. James Brown.